Oh, hello. How is everyone? Marvellous. Um, this one's just a little video for a mate of mine. Right, um, his brakes are squeaking. I'll be doing the fronts, but I'm doing the back first because I need to degrease. So here's your brakey poos. It's these two bolts here. One here, one there. Them two are important. And if I show you this, it's a slotted screw, just a standard flat blade screwdriver for that. That goes through. And that holds your discs on. This is the pin. Not that you can see it properly. This is the pin on the brakes. But if that pin starts getting all rusty and cruddied up, these brakes will seize. So I'm going to strip this. Well, not strip it, but strip it down and clean it. The hardest thing is to get this off because I always seize there. This pin is the thing that you're looking for. This bloody pin. Now, I've already done mine last year. Put copper slip in it. This thing will never seize again. So you literally just undo this. All it is is a little threaded cap. Show you. there. That's all it is. It's a little threaded cap. Is There you go. You unscrew this, pin comes out. And a sharp, short, sharp shock. bolts out. Right, that's that. It's undone. Now, I will be able to pull that out with my fingers this pin. Push the two pads up and just pull this out. Put that somewhere safe. These pads will now drop. Just drop out. Get a bit of tape, tape them up. Comes off very easy. Try not to lose it. That's the shoe, pad sit on this. Two bolts next. The the most rear one on your bike is a 12, this one's a 14, so get your socket set out and get it bloody dirty. Now these don't hold a lot of torque, you don't torque them down a lot, so they should come off really easy. Of course your caliper will be bolted to the bike. So, 12mm comes out. Half threaded, half just a shank. That's your 12mm. And I hope you're keeping all these parts together.
14 mil. It's almost been a bugger. There's the 14 mil, completely opposite to the 12. 12's got a shank, then thread. The 14 has got a thread, then shank. This is what you're left with. If you pull it up, you'll see a metal spring in there. So you've got a metal spring in there. Pistons back. Put that to one side. Right, as you look at it, you have a rubber boot here. In there should be loads and loads of bloody grease. Not too much, but enough for your 14 mil. The end of this shank here. For fuck's sake. The end of this shank here needs to be fully greased. Is that slides that's what slides your brakes so in there that needs to be greased if you have a look on your main caliper here that's a slider as well in there needs to be greased so this is the 14 on the shaft area bit of red grease that's all you need you don't need to clump it on but that is all you need. That's the 14 done. Now for the 12. If you notice the shaft is this bit. So I'll do it that way. So all we're doing is just making sure it's lubricated. So it moves freely. So it doesn't seize and you don't get squeaky brakes. So, put the caliper back into position. I would suggest doing your 12 first. So, line it up. Put your 12 through, you have threads this end, give the bolt a wiggle, side to side, up and down, make sure you don't cross thread it. Once you know you haven't cross threaded it and it's going into it properly, leave it at that, get your 14. Line the bolts up, it would help if I had the wheel on, I must admit. There you go. Align the calipers. Thread it through into the booted area. Once again, as you're twisting, up and down, left and right. Wiggle it. So now you can just nip them up. I don't know what the torque value is, but no doubt you will be looking at it. I can tell you now it won't be a lot. It'll just be a nip. It'll probably be finger tight and round about 10 minutes. Any more than that? 
and your torque wrench is knackered. So finger tighten 10 minutes I would say is maximum on these. So what we've done is we've lubricated that pin, we've lubricated that pin, so this can look how easy that moves, it's exactly what you need. Next is to the pin, this is the one that's giving you the bother, I can bloody guarantee it. Clean it up, do not use sandpaper. If need be, Get a green scour out with a little bit of washing up liquid on it and give it a scrub. Now I don't know whether your shoe has fallen out or not. If it has, you simply place it back on. I'm just going to nip these up. It's got two little tangs at the side of them. And uh, if you squeeze them a tiny touch, Probably haven't enough. I'm just going to put this back on. That's that. It's got two little teeth at the side of it that holds it together. Right. Put a little bit of copper grease on there, on the, just on the face plate. Stop them from seizing, make it all lubricated nicey nicey. Here's your pads. Go together. <laughs> These tongues go on the metal bit that I've just copper greased. pair of them get pushed up, use your thumb to hold them in line all together. Make sure they're seated. Uh, that little bugger isn't. There you go. Sorry about that. So you've got them all in line, the tongue's hitting the metal at the back on the lip. You get your pin, which you've greased with red brake grease or copper slip, one of the two. It has to be high temperature grease. That goes through. Get your thumb and push this one up and down and up and down to get the thread going. Then tighten it up. You don't have to go monkeying on this pin, just nip it up and it's just nipped up hand tight and a minute. So just a, a tight nip, that's it. Now I don't know whether you had trouble with this little bastard here, a lot of people do. I always, always get my copper slip, put it in where you've just put the bolt in. I spin it around. And I take off the excess. I do that every time. Because the little slotted head on this is made of toffee. And they're crap. But this is just a dust seal for that pin. Once again, don't go crazy on this, just nip it up. Mm. 
Yep, that looks good.